Good day, all. Thanks for joining me. Hope everyone is doing well, having themselves a good day. Just looks like it's a tad bit hazy here at Ravensburg. It is morning. Now, in the last episode, we went through here. I had a whole list of things I wanted to do, and we ended up doing contracts instead, which made us a buttload of money. But we didn't get, this was one of the first jobs I wanted to start <laughs> in the last episode. And there it all sits. That's our soybean field. Still need to pick up the straw. Now, the one thing we did get done is, let's see, where are we at? Field six. We got sugar beets planted there. Now, I think we did put fertilizer on it but we did, when we planted. But I would like to try to get another application on there i think it's came up it looks like it did the field way over there kind of looks like there's some green over there so i'm gonna assume that it came up we need to get our wheat field here harvested then up in this corner here we go let's just do it this way uh field 13 we have triticale and we will definitely be harvesting that today because I want to, I want, I can't remember what it puts out the back end of the harvester. So I want to figure that out again. So we will definitely be doing that. I don't know if we're going to get up here to our clover field. I'm thinking maybe we could put it on a helper and at least get it mowed up. But I don't really want to mow it unless I'm ready to, to do something with it because then the clover grows back over and it is just a mess. It just makes it hard to see. Now, hopefully field 17 here will be ready before the day's out because I want to grab a forage harvester and I want to turn this into some maize silage. That's what I'm hoping to do. I think that's what we need. I've been going back and forth. We need some maize silage for the cows, which we're going to need considerable but I think that's the only thing we need maize silage for. We have fresh maize for the pigs here and corn, but we've got a big wheat field. So I think we're going to be okay with slot number two for the pigs. I think we're going to stick with it. Let's just stick with the maize silage and we can do that. So first things first, let's grab ourselves a tractor, grab ourselves a fertilizer spreader, and I also, I think I want to use the precision uh, farming mod. Well, if you look here and we go precision farming, they look a little dull. Like if you look over here at, go back over 17, how it looks nice and bright. And then you come over here and it looks a little dull. So I think if, if I'm right, maybe, maybe, I, <laughs> maybe I'm not. <laughs> Maybe it starts to uh, get to the point where you need to go through and refresh the Maze Plus. Not Maze Plus. Precision Farming. Oh my goodness. Stop that. Okay. So let's go grab this guy. And then we will grab our fertilizer spreader and get over there and see if we can get this party started. Alrighty. So let's unfold this beast. Uh, turn it on. Oh, wait, I turned on the wrong thing. I was trying to do it all cool-like without looking at my menu, but... Uh, not... Nope, nope. Turn on the sensor. There we go. Now we can turn on the fertilizer spreader. And let's see, is it doing anything? Now, it is definitely turning colors, so that's cool. So what else do we need to get done today? I mean, we have a bunch of money. We will be spending a little bit of it with a uh, forage harvester. And I want to, for no other reason other than I want to try it, they have the uh, screw harvester. It's I think it's from like uh, 90s or 2000, something like that. And it just looks it just looks interesting and different, so I would like to give that a try. I, I'm not going to buy it. I think all I'm going to do is uh, rent it. But I want to give that a shot, and then if we do go over to the clover field, I've had a, this mower mod installed for a long time, 
that I've been wanting to try. I think it mows and puts it in a swath at the same time. It's a two-piece mower. I'll show you here. Just let me get up here, finish this row, and we'll see if we can find the darn thing. Okay, so shut that off. And let's go here. So it would be mowers, mowers, mowers. Where is? No, not that one. It's this guy right here. The Kong slide. Now, I believe it windrows at the same time, doesn't it? Or is it just the mower? I don't know why I was thinking it windrowed at the same time. It just looks different. So these two go together, but yeah, that's the one, right? Mowers cut grass. Why do I think that wind road? Am I just crazy? Oh, wait, or is it? So we have this. What does that do? That's only eight meters. Okay. I don't know. I was thinking this one did a swath. Now it doesn't tell me it does a swath. So, uh, I don't know. It doesn't look like it does, does it? Well, maybe we will find out. Maybe. <laughs> okay, so let's go ahead. Let's just kick this on. Let's get this knocked out real quick. This is one of the shortest speedies I think I've done. Shut that off. Now we've got a couple of spots where our fertilizer spreader actually went further than our precision farming tool. Let's go. Turn, turn, turn. There we go. So we'll get these cleaned up. Give us a nice clean look and feel. I don't know that I have ever seen one that is a solid shade of green before. It doesn't even show the difference, different types of uh, dirt, soil is a better word for it, not for it. <laughs> yeah, all right. And can we get that? No, we can't. Now, there was one over there. There was a spot. I know I'm being a little bit particular here, but there was a spot all the way down. I was trying to get this little guy, but... Nope, will not do it. So where is it? Come on, it's up here somewhere. Isn't it? Or am I just completely crazy? I'm I'm bending I'm scooting my view down so I can see better, but it's not really helping me see my mini map. Oh lordy be. So now that we've got this done, what do we need to do next? Do we want to go ahead and start our trip to Kaylee field and if we're gonna do that then i think we should go ahead and get the different harvester go baby go let's just do this the lazy way here that'll be just fine right there go 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 and it is gone so all right where are we at now, this, let's see if we can find it here. Most of you probably know what one I'm talking about, but if you don't, you soon will. This guy right here. Now, I mean, it holds, what, it can hold up to 29,000 liters? Where is that? Oversized tuning to base power? Where is that? Oh, grain tank extension. Whoa, that's a big old hat. That is a big old hat, but almost 30,000 liters. And it cruises at 31 mile an hour. Tuning to base power. Where are we at? 306. I mean, we're not on a big hilly surface. Uh, lights configuration. Let's take them all. Short pipe. 
I think we want long pipe, green star. I don't think we need that. Wheel setup. I mean, for six grand, I can barely tell the difference. I think we'll save her money. Lease it. Oh, I didn't think about a header. So, maybe. Uh, no, why do you do that? What do we need for a header? Just regular old header here. And I would like something that went a little faster. Six. Let's see. Now, can we make these go any quicker? I don't know that we can. We can a little bit. How fast can we make them go? Ten. Ten is a doable. Ten's doable. We can do that. Well, 45 foot header. That's a big boy. I don't know if we need something that big. I mean, our field isn't that big. Let's see what else we got. Uh, no, six. We don't. Come on now. Let's not be crazy. Try to be reasonable, but. Uh, can I change the colors? 25 feet, 35. Yeah. It's a massy, but it's not the right color. I know. I'm taking forever just picking out a header. Well, let's go ahead. Let's go with the big boy. Get back here. I just, I wanted it yellow is really all I want. Now, okay, it should, right? It's, it's going to harvest what we want it to harvest. And we will go up to the 10 mile an hour. Factory new. Yes, lease. All right. Beautiful. So let's, no, usually, uh, no. There it is. Let's take a look at this big old box. That thing is kind of funky looking. It's not bad, I guess, but it's... It's a little peculiar, I must say. It kind of reminds me, my, my father used to, father, my pa, used to work coal mine back in the day. And about all the machinery on the coal, in the coal mine, it was a strip mine, it wasn't underground, was all square and boxy and stuff, looked just like this. Well, not just like it, but resembled it, I guess I'll say. Whoa. Steering is very, very responsive. I think I should have got a different color header. The header looks new and my harvester just looks all worn out and faded yellow. Uh-oh. We, we'll make it. We'll make it. Uh, woof. And look at that. We're going to be right here. We didn't have far to go. Okay. Just drop that right there. This thing just turns like... It's nobody's business. <laughs> that just looks a little funny now. Fold her up. Okay. So now the big thing is what is going to come out of the back of this thing. Let's make sure we have a swath off straw. Straw swath. There we go. Is ready to go. Oh, I got to unfold the harvester. Unfold. Swing the ladder around. There we go. Wouldn't you want to do that before you got in? I don't know. We lowered. Uh. Come on. It is. It might be a little underpowered. Just maybe. But it's going. That is... Look how... I don't know if you can see that. That is very green. Is that grass? What is that? That is. It's just grass. Huh. So out of Triticale, you get grass. And it looks like considerable amount of it. Isn't this what we had? I tried to get uh, turned it into hay. 
and I had to tet it like three different times to get it because it went from grass to semi-dry to something else to finally hay. I think that's the way it went down. And I am sure something, one of our animals, wants some grass. Is it just that this thing is... I think it's just that the header goes so low. I was trying to raise the header, but... Oh. The only way to raise it is to shut it off. You can't raise and lower it like uh, normal. I mean, we will muddle our way through. It's not that big of a field. I think our I think we just have the wrong header is all it is. The good news is is we will not have to empty this thing. I can't imagine we're going to well, you know, maybe 29,000 liters we're at 20% in one and a half rows. It's very possible. Now the last episode I barely ran any speedies. And this one we're like just a couple of minutes in, I'm getting ready to start my second one. It's just, just the luck of the draw. So anyway, let's go ahead and let's just get this thing done. Overall, I really like this harvester. I think it's a goodie. I do think we have the wrong header on here for it. It kind of seems to be dragging the ground a little bit. There's probably one that's maybe recommended for this. I, To be honest, I didn't even look. Maybe that would be my fault. The only complaint that I guess I have is the unload speed. Come on. Go. Maybe that speed also. It's, <laughs> I got my foot to the floor, or my finger, I guess my finger. It's not really my foot, but uh, I don't have that whole setup there. Let's go. Come on, you can do it. You can do it. There we go. We are making progress now. But the unload speed on this is, is a little bit crazy very very slow and i mean if you're gonna let it hold almost thirty thousand liters have it unloaded a decent clip that would be very nice now it might be true to uh the machine itself it might actually unload what it really does but fooey on that i don't want that i want it to unload right now i don't want it to unload like it would really unload unless it's really quick <laughs> That's kind of my feeling on it. Now, I do think what we're going to try is I think I'm going to swap headers with the header that we have been using with the other harvester and see about the wheat field. I'm probably just going to put it on a worker, but I truly think this header is just too big or it's dragging the ground or something funky is going on with it. And we are done with this one. Perfect. So now I do want to check and see if I can hit the right button. Uh, okay, let's go cows. They do, they can take some grass. Uh, alfalfa, silage, blah, 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 grasslage. Now, I, uh, you see... I could also try to ferment it. 
and see what happens if we do that. Well, pigs will take some grass. Grass wet. Fresh maize. See, I'm curious as to what happens when we take this guy and uh, run a tatter over. I think, I think that's just what I might do, just to see what we get. Because I'm thinking that we get, like, uh, maybe grass wet or grass semi-dry, something, something funky like that. Now, I know there was a couple of spots that were, like, outside the field where some grass had went down. Where was it? Right there. There's a spot. I don't want to be messing it all up if we can just take it and harvest the grass. I just want to figure out what we get out of it. Lower it down, turn it on. So right now, if I could see, where is it? Right here? It is just grass. Okay, so we're going to go and... No, wait, I had it lowered. What in the world is going on? Grab it. Do it. Is it not Ted and that? Why is it fighting me? Because it's farming simulator. Well, all right. Let's see. Did we get it? Uh, I didn't see it. But I did see right here somewhere. That's, no. Where is that? Not this. Am I just losing my mind? It's really hard to see in here. Well, there it is, right? So it was right here. Grass, semi-dry. Okay, so that's what it turns into. Is with one tad, it is semi-dry. Unless I did it twice. And I don't think anything takes semi-dry. So could I turn these into bales? If I wrap these bales, would it become grasslage? Which, that would be all right. Right? <laughs> Maybe? Uh, I don't know. I mean, I could... Stop it. I could do just grass, and then... I mean, I don't know why I'm making this more complicated. If I did just grass, we could give it to the pigs. We could give it to the cows, but they would do much better with grasslage. We'd have a better chance of filling it up. Hmm, decisions, decisions. We've got a minute. Let me ponder on that. We might want to go ahead and grab the fast baler and wrap these. I can't believe I'm saying I want to use the fast baler unless I turn return that thing. Uh, I cannot remember. I know I thought about returning it, but I don't see it. So did we return that? And it was leased. We did. So, okay. So, we will not. <laughs> we will not be doing that. But we could just bail it all up. And they have wrappers for a square baler. So, that is still an option. But first things first. Where is Tritty Kaylee selling at? And how much is it selling for? Is it all the way down here, maybe? Oh, wait. There it is. So, uh... 1100 at the grain storage and oh okay got it just across the river i guess is that a river or is that a channel that that makes me look makes me think it's a channel kind of more man made than natural that's what i'm saying anyway let's get rid of that Let's just back this up. Oh, wait, here, let's drop that. Wow, that pipe looks quite long now. This is only going to take a little bit more. It's almost full already. But we'll top it off. Might as well. 
This should leave us a few thousand liters still left in the harvester. There we go. Which is nice. I think we will go ahead. We'll come back. We'll fill it up again. and We'll or not fill it up. But we'll empty the rest into the trailer. We'll go ahead and sell it now. I don't think we need to stick it in the silo. Now, I don't know. Do we have any in the silo? We do. So we can go ahead. We'll grab that as well. Might as well. Now, I am thinking that we are coming close to the end of Ravensburg here. I think we have hit our stride. We are making money hand over fist. So I think as far as I can tell, I think we beat it. It's kind of how I like to look at it. Once you've once you've got it and you're making just you can make pretty much as much money as you want. Start buying anything and everything you want. I feels like it's I'm going the wrong way. That's what it feels like. This is what happens when I talk on the phone and drive at the same time as well. God only knows where I'll end up. <laughs> uh, yeah, then I just get on autopilot. And wherever I'm used to going, that's where I'm going, whether I'm supposed to be there or not. But as I was saying, I think, I think we've pretty much ran its course here as far as making money. But I do not know where I want to go from here. I was hoping for the American uh, farmer, but that does not look like that's going to transpire. For whatever reason, that it's out on console and not on PC, I do not know. Uh, is above my pay grade. So we should make what? About 30 grand here. I don't, we'll at least pay for the harvester rental. I was trying to read the name on the side of the building, but I'm not even going to attempt it. Not even going to try. Come on, baby. Let's go. Let's go. Get this thing empty. There it is. 33 grand. Seems fair. And we've got just a little bit more. So let me run back to the farm and I will... Oh, oh come on. Get off of there. Looks like... I know, I know. Stop laughing, darn cement truck. Take that. Honk at me, will ya? <laughs> I'll see you in just a second. We did pretty darn good on that field. We ended up with about 40,000 liters total coming off of there. And we had a couple thousand liters in our silo. Not too shabby at all. So I think what we're going to do is we're going to get this dumped out. And then let's head back and get a worker started on the wheat field. Then we can get them rocking, and then we will take a look at our cornfield and see if it's ready to go. Let's get the pipe in and grab this header and see if it does any better with this guy. That looks to be a better size. A definite better fit. Now, color... Well, not so much, but size, I think so. And this guy should have no problem turning around, like anywhere. This is like a zero turn harvester here. Look at that thing. Literally turn around on a dime. Whoa, that made me dizzy. All right. Are we good? Well, I wouldn't call it stellar. So hold on. I want to see some. If I go into here. No. If I go into here. There we go. Where is that guy? Is it all the way down here? There it is. Does it have a specific one? The John Deere 630F. Okay. John Deere 630F. Do I have that? It's a 625, 645. 
Uh, I don't have that one installed, do I? So there you go. So it does the 635, but not the 45. Okay. Well, I suppose it is, it is okay. I think the workers will be just fine. Now this header should allow this thing to fly. And I uninstalled the, uh, adjust your header height on your harvester because I thought it was messing with some other mods. I thought it was messing with this header, to be honest with you, and a couple other pieces of equipment. Well, obviously it's not messing with this header. There you go. I just put it on a worker and I don't think they're going to get it all in here, which is, you know, par for the course. That is okay. So let's get out. And we need to check our cornfield. I almost am. Okay, good. It's not ready yet. That's okay. We need to do something with this grass. And we need to do something with this straw. And I think we could probably. Oh, I'm just. I'm just to trying to decide here. I think what we're going to do is let's bail up the grass. And maybe we will wrap it. Could we stick it in our compost? I don't, I don't know why I'm trying to make this more complicated than it needs to be. We could just pick it up with a loading wagon and move right on down the road. We most certainly could. Well, I think let's pick up the uh, soybean straw first. That'll give us a little time to ponder and figure out what the heck we want to do. Well, I think I'm going to hold off on the soybean straw. I know I am bouncing all over the place and I'll show you why. And that is soybean straw is at 380. It's going up. Now, I think the last time, uh, what well, canola straw we sold for like a hundred dollars per thousand liters more. So I think we're going to let our soybean straw go up and we are going to do some bailing. That's what I think we're going to do is we're going to bail up that grass and we will either get silage or we're going to get grass silage. One of the two. Do we have the... Ba yeah, there's the baler. I see it. Oh, well, we can just use the new hauler. It's sitting right there. Looks like it's ready to go. There we are. Oh, stop it. I don't like it when it does that. So we are going to get one canola straw out of this maybe no i don't want to bail that i was thinking oh i know what we can do huh, let's do this we're gonna get a little bit we'll turn this wheat into some canola straw that's <laughs> all right see if we can get it well we're at four thousand liter bale anyway and all we got to do is stop it when we're supposed to stop it and all oh, oh bro. Well, that didn't work. But I, I have a way to turn fix that too. Unload Baylor. Perfect. Let's go here. There. Oh look, it's empty. So now we can go over here and see about bailing up this grass. It's a pleasure to bail when you can bail at uh, a good clip. Drop that thing down and we are off and running. There it is. Well, 16 mile an hour. It's, I, I do like this baler. We will have to get our, we have a wrapper, but I think it's only for round bales. I will uh, double check that, but I am pretty sure it's for round bales and round bales only. There it is. Now we need to check and see how our cornfield's doing. Let's bump up time just a wee bit. Let's go get to times five. That should help us out a little bit. We're not there, are we?
No, no, we are not. So let's go ahead and let's get this all bailed up. Then we will grab ourselves a wrapper. So I was going to go ahead and run a speedy doing this as well, but I think, I think two rows is probably enough. <laughs> That's kind of what I'm thinking. It's like, you know, I don't know how many times somebody wants to sit here and watch that thing spin around. I mean, we could just sit here and I could talk the whole time we're doing it, but I don't think anybody wants to hear that. So I guess what I'm going to do, I want, can we see, wait a second. Can I see what these bales are now? Are they gonna tell me? Now, what if I, what if I picked it up? Let's just see. Uh, I don't know if it's still gonna tell me or not. Hey, I should have super strength. Wait. Did I not just turn on my super? I did. What the heck? And they're still too heavy? Well, fooey on that. I don't understand. But I guess I don't have to. But I know what we can do. Here, drop that for a second. And let's... I have bail forks on here. Uh. Are you gonna stick it there it is and it is grass silage okay i did not think it was going to turn into regular silage so now at least i know what we have there you go so now you know if you plant triticale you can get grass or grass silage so that should work out just fine i know our cows can use the grass silage as well so let me go ahead and I will fly around here at a snail's pace and get these all taken care of. But 97%, I have a little bit of grass over here. Now, if we have enough for a whole bale, then you'll see this. But if we don't, <laughs> then you won't. Let's see, are we down? We're good, we're good. Okay, come on, 98. Uh, there's just a wee bit more up here. I don't know. I don't think we have 2%. Let's see, where is it? Oh, it's over here. There it is. I see it. I see it. Come here, you green, you green gold. 99. So what? I need 19 liters. And I don't think there's 19 liters anywhere. But I have a plan. Uh, no. 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 Would it be just... No. Corn... No, wait. I just wanted wet clover. No. Where's just grass? That's all I wanted. It's not dry grass. Soybean straw. Come on. Grass windrow. There it is. 
Okay, so now I can shut it off. There we go. Come on, I cheated 19 liters. You, you can't really hold that against me, can you? Oh, I suppose you could. I mean, I, in the long run, it's really not going to do any good. But you could. You could definitely hold it against me. All right. Drop it. And you know what I did learn is this thing finishes wrapping even when you unhook it. So you stop it and you drive away and it, it finishes. I don't know what's powering it, but uh, I can't argue with what works. So we got just a couple more bales left. Now I did go over here and unloaded that uh, guy once. They are definitely ready for it again, but I think we have like a thousand liters left in the truck. Trailer, not a truck. It's a trailer. There's the bale. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Now, I have no idea how many bales we've got here, but we definitely have a few. It should help out the cows, I would think. Now, we could also sell it. It's going for 500 and some dollars per thousand liters. Not a huge amount, but it's not bad either. But I was thinking we should probably just go ahead and it's probably it's cheaper than any feed that you could buy the cows, I think. At least that's what I'm telling myself. And this is last bale right here. Perfect. Let that guy finish wrapping and we should go here. And it's been running the whole time, just burning my fuel. So do I come through here? I guess we'll grab 800 liters here. Of course, it'll take it 15 minutes to unload it. Now, that's an exaggeration. It's not that bad. It's not that good either, but it's not that bad. <laughs> no, honestly, I like, I like the, the harvester. I really do. I do not like the unloading speed, but other than that, as long as you've got something else you can go do while it's unloading, I think it'll be just fine. Now, the wheat, didn't that go to the pigs? I better double check. Okay. And yes, it did, right? Yeah. All right. All right. That's the one we keep having trouble with trying to get full anyway. I don't think we, well, you know, we are going to get another full trailer full out of this. Was that a bad line there? I think it was. We will make do. Come on. No. Yeah, no. This thing's turned so much right now. Which? Oh, wow. They are dirty, dirty pigs. <laughs> they are a tad bit dirty. Yeah, let's get back here and let's watch the wheat go. Oh, and we're missing. That's kind of... Uh, kind of ruins the illusion as it vanishes into the asphalt. Here we go. How's that? Is that better? Perfect. I don't know why it is that I've been picking the equipment that unloads really slow, but it most certainly does. Okay. So now... Let's get up here. We'll unload our harvester. And then we need to do something with those bales. Okay, so now, now, how now, brown cow? Look at that. Even got a brown cow. So, oh, clover or cornfield is still not ready. I'll start. Let's do that. Now, last time I walked away and this thing stopped unloading for whatever reason. So then we need a bale trailer. Not that one. Not that one. I think it's the Dutes Far's turn. Go. I think we can. Well, let's get these bales picked up. And then I think we're going to go ahead. We're going to go rent ourselves a forage harvester. Get the head, get the harvester, and I think we should probably get ourselves a bigger trailer. 
because 30,000 liters get him turn no oh, okay is just not enough so how big do we want to go do we want to go semi truck big well i mean we did have the trailer that held 225 liters but do we want to get that same one again Oh, decisions. I don't... Why do all the decisions fall on me? I hate that. I do decisions all day, every day. <laughs> Some, you guys need to tell me what to do. That's better. Well, maybe I should live stream. That's what I should do. Then you guys could just tell me what I'm supposed to do. And I can just be a good boy and just do as I'm told. There'd be a first time for everything. So let's go ahead. Let's get these picked up. And I'm not going to run a speed eater or anything with these. And we are off and running. Load number one. What? Miss it. Jump, baby. Oh, that's perfect. So I should be able to just pull over here. We should probably clean these guys too, right? Unload. Unload here. Boom. So how did that... Oh, how did that help us? Let's see here. Oh, look at that. That's pretty good. I am pretty happy with that. I think that was our lowest one, if I am not mistaken. Here, let's do this. It'll make us make for a smoother drive over here. There we go. Well, they're going to be very happy. Well, we also need to give them... Oh, we need to give them some straw. There is none left. Don't, don't look at me like that. Stop it. Guilting me. They even yelled at me, too. I heard it. All right, let me go up here and uh, see if we can get the rest of this. Maybe we'll make our cows happy. So I went and checked, and we had like 48,000 liters before we did this. We ended up with, what, 42 grasslidge bales? And, I mean, that is pretty darn good. That gave us like, what, 160-some oh, thousand liters? So what, where are we sitting? Look at that. At that now, we went from uh, worst to first as far as uh, sitting good. We've got, it's so hard to read. It looks like 200 and maybe 16,000 liters. I don't know. That one's really hard. The words go over the numbers. So let's take this up here. And I don't know. We'll check our cornfield. But if it's not ready... How are they doing? Are they still rocking or are they full? They're still going. Okay. So. Oh, it is ready. It is. It is. Okay. But I think. Uh, I want to I get started on the cornfield. Gosh darn it. But I need to do something with the cows and the pigs. I think we should do a little maintenance on them. And I guess I am thinking about it. So now is probably the best time to do it. So we need... Will the... I think the loading wagon will work out just fine. Let's just grab it. We can come in here and grab ourselves a little bit of straw. This should take long. This should be pretty darn quick. And... Wait. Oh, there we go. I'm like, uh, what am I doing? Nobody knows what the heck. Look at that. We got grasslets right there. 8,000 liters. Huh. And I am just looking for... Hey, we got... Oh, we have alfalfa? 32,000 liters. Some clover silage. You just never know what you're going to find. That's what I got to say. Wait, straw. There we go. Okay. Whew. It's always the last one. How are we doing for eggs? We've got a few. Oh, hey, how are we doing for milk? Milk, 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 milk. 
So we've got 53,000 liters of milk. And how's it doing? $6,000. What? That's the price I'm talking about. We're selling milk, folks. <laughs> uh, let's go drop off some straw. And then we are going to be selling some milk. Now, do I have a trailer for milk? I don't know. Does our water tanker do milk? Bio milk? I don't know. Uh, let's see. Now I'm like, ah, what do we do? What do we do? <laughs> Easily rattle. Well, we're in the least. Okay, so we need owned. And wait, what is that? Oh, no, that's the Zunaba. I just love that name. And that does not. So what did I do? Did I lease something the last time? Did it take all of it? It did. How full is it? Oh, my God. I am just all over the place. So we're fine. That is just fine. Let's get some water. So I must have rented something the last time. Now, I could just rent a tanker. We have a semi truck right there. Okay. And let's get up here. There we go. So I'll see. I move. I put my water spigot too far away. I don't think I can actually. I like to f have it fill up the water, filling up the tank while the tank is filling up the trough. But oh, there we go. We got it. Okay, it works. Just not very well. <laughs> that's it just not very well we just kind of keep doing that then we'll get her filled up so let me I'm going to fill this up then I am going to go fill up the pigs as well get them full of water then we will clean them up get them some straw just make the rounds so I'll meet you up at the pig trough and then we will go from there as far as selling some milk all right, last job here to do. And the animals should be taken care of. Right now, this is a horrible view for me. Oh, it looks like I'm doing it, though. I got her. I got it. Oh, don't. Okay. They're scoot up there. There we are. My goodness, there was quite a pit in there. Oh, my. So, now... We good? Yeah, okay, so we're good. I think we will definitely pull this out of here, and then I want to see how the pigs are sitting. Right now, I think the animals are in the best place they've been. I know the cows are. Cows are sitting pretty. There we go. Up a little bit. Ugh. Okay, that's just fine. Let's take a quick look here. There is nothing in the red straw. I could have gave them a little bit more. But we've got to pick up all the straw in the wheat field anyway. We can dump it on them. Uh, hay and clover hay is sitting okay. Uh, clover silage. We are actually getting ready to make a bunch of, bunch of clover silage. They're looking good. Pigs. Cleanliness. That'll go up. Again, we'll fix the straw. I think we're sitting, I mean, we're getting ready to do a bunch of maize. You know, I'm thinking that what we could do is dump some of the maids. Mage? <laughs> maize. Oh, actually, that does clover silage as well. Oh, my goodness gracious. So we're going to be sitting. We're going to be sitting just fine. Okay, we're good. We're good. We're good. Now, what are we doing? Oh, bio milk. Now I remember. I remember. So let's go. ASM. Now let's see. How many is that? Does 15,000 liters. That is not very much. Does 40. You know, we could just go ahead and I think we should buy this. We've got the money. 
Well, we need chrome. We want to reflect all of that sunlight that we possibly can. 68 grand. Let's just buy it. We've got money right now. Why not? So let's get our butt down there and get that picked up. I right, now I'm thinking we're going to make a bloody fortune off of milk. Now I believe if I remember correctly, we just kind of back up to these doors here. Uh, it does say milk. Now maybe I should look where I'm going here. Uh Oh, there we go. All right. There it is. Beautiful. Now, see, this is the time during the map where you want to uh, start upgrading your equipment. You start buying nicer trucks, and instead of leasing, you buy it. You know, that's just the way it goes. Time to upgrade the harvester. and Our tractors, I think, were sitting pretty good. Maybe we'll give them a bath. But uh, other than that, I think uh, I think we're all right. So I'm trying to see if I, maybe I can make this into a thumbnail. I don't know. I may have to come back in and start playing around with it. The picture, that is, the thumbnail. <laughs> so, I mean, where are we selling this? Where? And biomilk right here. Oh, the harbor. All right. I don't even have to tag it. I know where that is. But we're going to anyway. There we go. Let's go. And we will have, what, another 10,000 liters, which would be another 6,000 bucks, 60,000 bucks. Whew. Oh, yeah, I think we are going to make some very, very nice money. Unexpected money, and that's always the best. And fairly easy. I mean, we've only got, what? No, no. Stop it! Jeez. Okay. My goodness. That was a little that was a little crazy. A little out of control. Well, there is our great green light of money. That's what that that's why it's green. It's because it's all money. And biomilk going in, and money is just flying up. And it's not emptying that quick. So what was that? That was 40,000 liters at six. Eh, so I don't even know. I'm not going to do it. <laughs> I don't know. It's It should be. It should be good. What, 100,000? Somewhere in there? I don't have my calculator, so I can't really do that. My God, that's going... That was at five something. Two hundred and forty two grand. What the heck? Oh, cows are my friend. That just goes to show you, just wait. If you've got the biomilk mod installed and you're seeing prices that are right around the same as regular milk, just wait. Just hold up, have some patience. And it's going to hit a stupid number like that. Six grand. That is, uh, I'm stoked as you can, as, as you can tell. Uh, yeah, yeah, see, they're happy for me. No, don't hit it. So let's go grab that last, uh, like, 10,000 liters or whatever the heck it is. So something I forgot to do, and is, and I should have did it the last time, so I can hit the button. And it lowers it down and puts that bottom, that rear axle down so that it works. And it doesn't just float. Now, I probably should have did that when it was full. <laughs> but <laughs> yeah, better late than never. It's fine. It's just fine. Don't worry. Oh, I was going to say it's a rental, but it's not. I bought the dang thing. Oopsie. And there we go. Almost 14,000 liters. Come on, turn, you big old behemoth. Oh, it goes so much better with that rear axle down. I, I don't really notice a difference. I was just, <laughs> just funning you. All right, let's get down there and get this last little bit sold. And here we go, here we go. And empty, be gone with you.
So will it? I think it will tell us how much we made in milk. But I mean, what we made two forty? Yeah, it was two hundred and forty-two or something like that. Oh my god! And another eighty-four grand. <laughs> Holy crap! That is uh, that's some pretty good money right there. Uh, that's not what I wanted. What did I want? I wanted no money. Ah, oh, here, no. Yeah, this is it. <laughs> no, yeah, no. Oh, yeah, maybe. <laughs> so where we go? Sold, sold wood, sold milk. Nothing. <laughs> Says we did none. What the heck? Harvest income is three hundred and seventy-four. Great. The bio guy. Oh, so we made one hundred and thirty-three thousand today. Oh, must have been. Oh, that's right. Yeah, 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 yeah. When we sold what the leftover potatoes, I think I don't know if there's any more processing in there or not. So the last few days, last four days have been profit. That does not happen, and it's just ramping up. One hundred eight, seven, three twenty-nine, four hundred and fourteen thousand today. By God, I think we are kicking this farm's butt now. And we have a whole field full of uh, corn that's going to be turned into maize silage. We've got a clover field that's ready to go. We could turn it into clover silage. You think maybe there's a theme? Lots of silage going on. Bank account going up. Okay, so now we will just go ahead and we'll take this guy up here. Get it ready to empty out. We've already got a trailer. Uh, no. Over there, this thing, it's, it just turns so ridiculously sharp. It's like, whoa, whoa, what are you doing? It uh, is interesting looking. I will give it that. But it works. It works very well. And as far as harvesters go, I mean, really, it wasn't that expensive. No, just stop that. Don't do that. I'm hitting the wrong buttons. I can't blame it, but I can certainly try. <laughs> That's what I can do. I can most certainly try to blame it on this thing. Come on. Doesn't back up near as slow, but I guess you can't have everything. There we go. This, oh, perfect. Go. Yeah, the JCB, it does a pretty good job, but you can definitely tell when your trailer is full. She takes off just a wee bit slow. Now, I have no idea what forage harvester I want to use. I've done, I've looked into it not at all. Whoa, that was a little funky. My, like, frame rate just tanked. I don't know what's going on there. Getting a little jittery. I should not be getting jittery. I've spent enough on this PC. I should not be getting jittery. Uh, there we go. There it is. All right. Dump it in there. And fine. You're rocking it pretty good. It'd be nice to be able to take the harvester in there. Now, I hate to say it. I don't think we're going to get to them today. But our pigs are full. They have been full all day. And so we are, oh yeah, man, look at us. And we have another 30,000 liters of wheat. I am stoked. You just struggle for so long trying to get all the animals filled up. So they're sitting good and everything's in the red. You're just, especially with uh, Mace Plus. My goodness, it gets, everything takes so much more product of everything. When you finally start to see where everything's green, you've got everything, and you're still making all kinds of money because you've got extra crops and fun stuff like that, it just, uh, it's, I, I don't know, is it satisfying? I'm not sure really what the word is, but uh, I like it, that's for sure. So now, let's see. Let's go ahead and check one more time. Cows are doing dandy and pigs. So it didn't fill them up. It most certainly did not fill them up. Uh, well, I mean, it looks like it would take about 250 plus 
to fill them up right now. Now, if we sold 50 cows, that would definitely help our cause. <laughs> That's how you do it. Oh, yeah, we'll fill that up. We'll just get rid of the animals and look. They've got food to last them for a long time. I don't know why I didn't think about that one sooner. Let's see about getting this guy. Oh, no, no, no. Don't do it. I can't see nothing. I'm just <laughs> into everything. <laughs> yeah, that's just right here. That's perfect. That's just where I wanted it. Okay. So we've got that. Now we need... Let's go get ourselves a forage harvester. And get it down there. We can return... Let's return that screw drive there. While we're thinking about it. Uh, least item. I liked it, but I think I'm going to keep what I got for right now. If I decide to get that, we will uh, look for a better header for it. Yes. Okay. There we are. We're all good with that stuff. Yes. So we need, we need, we need, need. Patience and understanding. That's what I always need. So, I don't think I'm going to go with the big X. That's just, you know, they're just awful proud of that. Uh, the John Deere, those work. You know, I don't think I have ever gotten a Claus. So, I guess... Wow, those, ooh, look at that. 1150 horsepower. That is a little ridiculousness. I kind of like this one. I mean, it's pricey. But it looks cool, and I've never used it. So now we can put a trailer on this. But what, does it take a specific kind of trailer? Does it take the pin hitch? It does, right? Looks like it. Uh, pipe. Standard. Long pipe. Let's go long pipe. That way, if we've got something... And it needs a little bit more distance. It'll work. Okay, so let's lease it. You know, when you're sitting with $900,000, it's uh, easy to lease whatever you want. <laughs> All right, now, now we need a trailer. So now, wait. I thought there were some dollies that had the hitch that we need so we could actually put a semi-trailer on those now am i i could be mistaken but that one oh either one of these let's see oh that would mean i wouldn't have to get a worker right we got any others oh that's oh that's cheaper too and that is that's what we need right i'm gonna i like it black so let's it's 250 bucks to lease. We're going to lease it. It's ours. Okay, so now, now, how now? I know, I know, I know. We need a semi-truck trailer. Semi-trailer. Something that holds. Now, I know we've got some that hold a bunch, a bunch. 60,000. Don't we have some that hold more than that? I am pretty sure that we do. Is that... 250,000 liters is what this guy holds? Uh, I do believe it is. Now, once again, I do not think that I did that. I don't... That is... That's... I don't even know if I need to go any further. We're... We're, we're gonna take that one. That's what we're gonna do. Uh, main color. Do we want... Let's look for something that looks like corn. We have that. Oh, that's copper. That's not corn. That looks very corny. <laughs> ah, I cracked myself up. So let's see here. Gun metal. Anything that's a gun. Was that my rim color? Oh, no. We don't want that. We need... There we go. Now, let's do design color. Let's do gun. I like a gun metal. That doesn't look like any gun I own. That's for sure. But okay, whatever. Uh, wheel brand. Do, I don't even know if I care so much, but we'll look. Those are, oh, well, I did like Argo tires. Configuration. Un, unreal capacity. I'm glad I saw that. That would have uh, bummed me out. Extras. 
I mean, how much extra side bumpers? I mean, I'm just doing silage, for goodness sake. Uh, it's daytime. I don't care. Attachers? Attachers? Rear hit? Oh, I, that would be nice. We'll just do standard. Cover. Standard. Fine. Lease. Okay. Didn't want to draw that out too long. I already sat, felt like I'd drawn it out long enough. Hello? Okay. And shut that off. My little uh, field's unfinished. Well, what are you going to do? You're going to tab over it until you get down here. That's what you're going to do. Okay, so let's get up here. And... Oh, come on now. No, don't do this to me. Hey, that... Oh. That looks like that should go. Can I crank that up? That would be nice. So why, why therefore did it not? It should, right? It should go right there. So I did figure it out. I got a different dolly. <laughs> so there we go. Oh, this ought to be fun to back up too. That thing seems a tad bit squirrely. Oh. The shorter the trailer, the harder they are to back up. That is no joke. But, but we don't care. We got it. As long as I don't have to back up this trailer here, we should be just fine. It would not go near as well. I can promise you that. You know, I, maybe I should have went with cloth colors. That is uh, that's a thought. But what are you going to do? Hindsight's always twenty twenty. So sometimes I am not the sharpest tool in the shed. I have to say, I uh, I needed a header. <laughs> I get about halfway there. I'm like, I seem to be missing something. So it says the Orbis. It doesn't say what size. It says the Orbis, and then it says pickup, and then it says direct disc. So I'm assuming it will use any of these. I can't imagine it needs all of them on so we're gonna go let's go with this one and how much is it oh let's do this come on tell me it's like 12 15 10 eh, all right all right my goodness we have burned through some money here I was at 900,000. Now I'm at a measly 868,000. Turn there. Turn, 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 turn. Okay. My God. That is... That is a setup. Wow. Let's go cruising through town with this bad boy. Well, I think this is our field right here, which is really kind of nice. Uh, not the tree. I <laughs> it's like, what in the world? So hopefully we can do this without having to back up. So I think we should probably go this way. Now, I, I don't think we're going to be doing this today. I have no idea how long we've gone, but I know I can just feel it has been way too long look at this we've got a tree house come on can we go let me up let me up come on we can <laughs> look at that we could stand up here and watch the worker if we wanted to make sure they do it right i need one of these for the guys i could just stand around and watch them and yell at them hey maybe not they might not appreciate that so much Hey, I want to thank y'all for tuning in, but I think we are have done it. So I hope you enjoyed. hope you had yourself a little fun, as always. If you did and you want to sub, that would be uh, much appreciated, as always. Be good, everyone, and until next time, see ya.